We're joined now on the phone by ESPN's James Walker. He is outside Jackson Memorial Hospital Center right now. James, I know that there's a lot of family there. What can you tell us about the scene right now? Yeah, Lindsay, it's a very sad scene, a uh, very somber scene uh, outside of uh, Jackson Memorial Hospital. And I'm looking at about, I'd say, two dozen family and friends, uh, a lot of people crying. Um, a few of them are coming out to do interviews and actually spoke to a friend of the family. Her name is Lisette Lowe. Um, and just asked her about the, you know, the entire situation. And she said, you know, the family is obviously down, uh, but they'll remember uh, Trey as being a, a very happy person despite, uh, you know, what occurred uh, yesterday with the motorcycle accident. But uh, overall, just a, a very sad scene. It still seems like a lot of family and friends are, are just surprised uh, that, that he passed away. And, and uh, yeah, that, that's probably the best way I can explain it. What have you heard from the Ravens camp, if anything? I know that Harbaugh, Jim Harbaugh, had released, you know, a, a statement earlier. But what it, what is it that you have heard from them, John Harbaugh? Well, the Ravens are, well, the Ravens are en route. Um, they're sending uh, team officials down here um, to, to offer support uh, to, to Trey Walker's uh, family and, and to be here. Unfortunately, they, they haven't, at least so far from what I've heard, they haven't uh, made it down here yet. But they are en route. Uh, if you if you think about the owners' meetings coming up. Uh, and Monday, the team the team officials want to come down here anyway uh, to Boca Raton in South Florida uh, for the owners' meeting to, to start on uh, Monday. But they, they, they're coming down here early. Um, again, it's, 